So I also came for the uh, for the retreat, uh, for the residential retreat uh, that month with my sister. And I had a lot of things to finish before I came, uh, a lot of work. And, you know, till the last minute I was doing all of that. And then I put aside that and came here. And the one thing is that uh, we were told to put our phones away and, um, you know, concentrate on what was happening here. And there was just only the program that we were given. And it was actually a blessing to follow that program and um, not to have, I didn't even look at the phone, kept it in the room, came here, followed the program. Uh, and it was, um, I had a, feel, a sense of peace that came over me here uh, because the rest of the world and what I had to do was left behind. And then on the day of the inner healing, um, in that, that night, a special service, um, when I came over here and I was in prayer, um, Father actually uh, was, uh, you know, uh, in prayer, in deep prayer, and invited us uh, to come to the foot of the Lord, uh, and uh, of the foot of the Lord on the cross. Uh, and he said, uh, explicitly he mentioned everything that the Lord went, the pain that he went when he was nailed, when he was humiliated, when the spear went through him, all of that. And he asked us to visualize that and be at the cross. At that time, I reached in my bag and held my crucifix that I have. And at that moment, um, Father called out my name, Michelle. Um, from where does your help come? Your help comes from the Lord. It is only I, I who can help you, so cling on to me. Uh, I just uh, could not stop crying at that moment. I was just, tears were pouring down my uh, eyes because I was so touched at that time. It was a very special moment. Uh, and I just held on to the cross even more strongly. And um, a little while later, I just saw uh, very hazily uh, the, the, you know, the face of our Blessed Mother in light blue. Uh, and I just prayed to her as well. So at, there was so much peace. And even in our, rich, there, uh, in our room, there was some sharing with two others or so we had, not on this, but on our general what was going on in the retreat center. And when I went home, um, uh, that whole uh, experience has touched me so much that um, everything I do now, even the Mass, uh, yes, I go for daily Mass, but Father mentioned to us in his talk on the Mass how important the Mass is for us, each single part of that Mass. And uh, for the next week, actually, I had like the gift of tears because during the Mass, I experienced uh, the blessedness of the Mass uh, and how much Jesus has done for us. Uh, and uh, I could take that back with me into whatever work I did and into what, whoever I moved around with. Uh, and the mood changed because for me, then I had that peace. And even for a simple incident that happened in the... Um, uh, waiting for the doctor outside uh, in, the, um, in the hospital and there was this um, lady, in a, uh, there was somebody coughing very much and uh, everybody was irritated and I had my headset on and I was listening to the Divine Retreat Center, um, Father was doing the adoration and um, then I suddenly realized the coughing was very bad and I took my headset off and I looked to the side and I recognized the lady on the wheelchair she was one of our teachers, and she's 90 years old. And um, the person who was coughing was her niece, who she had bought in another wheelchair. And I could go, and actually I had a lot of peace to go and give water and be with that person and give her something for her cough. And all that, I got this peace because um, of what I had experienced here. I felt a calmness uh, and um, sort of not at all anxiety. Everyone I could see was feeling very agitated, but um, I just wanted to go and help. And I had that sense of love and peace that I had received after this. Um, and um, whenever I, uh, in the morning, I have prayer time, mass, or even the rosary, Father said, tell the rosary with meaning, we just rattle it off. And even when I go, I will tell the rosary. But now the rosary had so much meaning and I would reflect on the uh, mysteries and pray during that time. 
uh, and pray with friends uh, uh, at the rosary with so much more meaning. And actually that helped me during the day. So every day with, uh, walking with Jesus uh, was like, uh, you know, not a, it's not compartmentalized. I, you know, I don't say, okay, I go for mass, I do my morning prayer, and the rest of the day I do my work. Uh, and so Jesus is forgotten till night prayer again. No. So it's just talking to him while I'm going, seeing something nice and saying, thank you, Jesus. That's a beautiful sunset. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the really good food I had. There are so many people who don't have food to eat, and I have the blessing of food on my table. So that helped me also to share my food when, I, uh, when there's uh, fresh food cooked. Uh, I would, you know, make two parcels and give it to somebody uh, that would uh, would love a home cooked meal. Uh, so that just came naturally um, because I felt so blessed that I had all of these uh, thanks to Jesus and so many other so many other experiences that uh, you know um, I would be really a little bit. Uh, we had a cottage mass last Sunday. Uh, sorry, last Tuesday in my house, and I was very tired after working for it and doing everything, but it went off very well. Uh, and after that, the next day I had to uh, play the organ in uh, church. But I want to turn and go to sleep because I was so tired, and I said, I'm sure the Lord will understand. But I remember the lady who comes t uh, to help also, she said she's not coming that day. So I, had, I got up and I went. And actually, after Mass, I played a little longer, uh, some soft music, and a couple came and told me, who came for the cottage, Mass said, thank you so much for playing extra, because we actually could spend more time with Jesus praying, because your music helped. So I think that uh, when we are given these things to uh, whatever we are given, uh, whether it's uh, AIDS, talents, or anything, we use it for the glory of God, uh, not for our glory. Uh, and um, when we do that, or when we do difficult things, um, like saying sorry to someone we don't want to say sorry, actually the Lord gives so much of peace and so much of joy. That is the reward we get for giving up something that is difficult. Uh, so um, that is all, but I made notes during the retreat, and um, I you know, reflected on it so that I could use it. Uh, in uh, daily walk with Jesus. Uh, so that is why in all these things I did, even the Blessed Sacrament, prayer time, uh, was so peaceful and so lovely because the Lord will speak to me in few words, sometimes in hymns and songs. <laughs> By saying, uh, with St. Paul, Paul clearly says, salvation comes only through Jesus. And our calling is to follow Jesus by witnessing to the world what Jesus did on the cross. And as children of God, whatever we are given, we are supposed to use it for the glory of God. Thank you very much.